robots that Trish utilized in her therapy. The first is called the planar robot. During therapy, the patient's hand and wrist are held in a rigid support affixed to the robotic arm, and the patient must reach towards points in space that correspond to the positions on the targets on a screen. Throughout each therapy session, the participant completes a series of flexions, extensions, and rotational movements across the elbow and shoulder joints. If a limb is initially paralyzed, the robot will move it passively, but as motor function returns, the robot will require the patient to initiate progressively more movement. This chart shows Trish with the assistance of the robot running through a series of exercises, and this is now Trish doing it on her own without the assistance from a robot. The series of four charts that you're about to see show how Trish did on a given day with each of her four sessions where she did the whole exercise on her own without robotic assistance. And this next chart shows how she did from when she first started the program until the end of the program. As you can see, the chart on the right shows